Hello, Nerd Herd. Don Russo here from Nerdy Music, and I am so stoked to be with you. I love music. I love video games. I love anime, OSTs, all the nerdy stuff. Give me the nerdy stuff. I love it, please. So today, we're going to continue our series on the Fortnite dance emotes and music. So we're going to be doing Air Shredder. But first, before I show you how to play this, I want to make sure that you press the subscribe button and comment and like and share and watch other videos on our channel. That's the best way to make it so that we can continue to make videos for you guys. And speaking of which, if there's something in particular you like, just comment below and let us know what it is. I've already got plans to do a Final Fantasy VII video and I've already got plans to do a Rocket League video because you guys commented below. So I'm going to make sure that I do some videos for you guys that you want to hear. But before we do that, I'm going to show you Air Shredder. So, uh, you saw me playing. It's a very challenging piece, right? It's going to be in E minor pentatonic scale, pattern one. If you don't know pentatonic pattern one, you should know it. It is the most common scale pattern on guitar. Every guitar player needs to know it. So I'm going to start on the 12th fret and play through that so you can see it real slow. why I'm playing my blue Strat now as opposed to my red PRS which is right behind me it's because it this one doesn't stay in tune as well so I thought for a tutorial I would help you out and use this one instead because we care and we want to be in tune for you so here we go right off the bat the first lick involves a rake so let's talk about that rake so what a rake is is when you when you touch the strings and you play through the strings like this and then you play through the notes so you can use your fingers on your left hand, you can use the heel of your right palm, if you'd like, and just go and lead right into, so I'm on the 12th fret of the B in the high E when I do that. And right there, I'm doing a bend on the 15th fret of the B string. Then I'm gonna go 12, and 15, B to pull off, then a bend, and again, and again, but this time, bend on the high E. And now we're going to do triplets. If you don't know what a triplet is, a triplet is when you divide a beat into three pieces. So instead of one, two, three, four, it's going to be triplet, 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 or chocolate, 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 blueberry, whatever word that you like, right? So I'm going to start here on the 15th fret of the high E string, and I'm going to go threes. I'm going to do patterns of three down. I'm going to go 15, 12, to 15 on the B string. Then I start here. 12, 15, 12, 15 B, 12, 14 G. So, so that's going to be this part here. So, three times on the on this one. And I end on the 12th fret of the G string. Next part of the song is very hard, very challenging. So I'm gonna go 15 on the B string and I'm gonna do a triple pull off here. I'm gonna do three pull offs from the 15 to 12th. So, and then I do twice. So, and this first bend actually should be a unison bend. Unison bend means I'm gonna bend this note, this D, to an E, which is the same as this note, E. So I'm making them sound the same. Pretty cool, right? And then triple pull off. And I go 15, B, 12, high E, and then a double pull off. Then 15, B, 12, high E, pull off, 15 to 12, high E, 15, B, 12, high E. Then I do a pull off from 17 to 12. I do that twice, that little sequence there. It's pretty nice, right? Down, up, down, down, up, down. Make sure you alternate your pick while you're doing this. So, so. Then I go back to the pull off 15 on the high E to 12, then 15 B, 12 high E. Then I do like this. This little look here. So I'm going to be hammering and pulling. So I'm going to go 14 on the beat, high E, and I'm going to hammer to 15. Pull off the 14, pull off the 12. So it's like a double pull off. 
and then I end on the 15th fret of the B string. Double pull off there to the 12. And I do that same little lick again, 15, 12, 14. Back to 12, so. And I go 15 on the G, 14 G, 12 G. That's gonna be the blue note. If you don't know what the blue note is, check out our video on the blue note. Uh, it's basically another note you can add to the pentatonic scale. All right, moving along. Um, this is the next lick. It's going to be 14 on the G to 14 on the D. You're pulling off to the 12th fret both times. We do that three times. Then a double pull off 14 to 12. Single 14 to 12 on the D. And again. So. So. Yeah, I've got this little lick here. That's going to be a double stop. So a double stop just basically means you're playing two notes at once. So I'm going to be going 12th fret G, 12th fret B. I'm going to go put a little mute in there. So I'm going down, mute up, down, and then 14 for G and B. 12 and 14. I basically just do the same lick again, but just without the double thing. So. And then I'm going to go all the way down here to the second fret of the G string. And slide it up. Really doesn't matter how far, as long as you get yourself in position for the next lick. So I'm going to be on the 15th fret of the B string. I'm going to hammer pull. I'm going to end on the 16th fret of the G string. Then I go slower. So the rhythm's like... Right? Then I go 15, 14, 12, so. All right, so I'm gonna take it from the top through that part so far. I'm gonna go a little slower. I go here. This is gonna be the fifth fret of the D string, and I'm gonna go five to seven on the A string. So this part's actually very hard. It looks easier than it is. So I go down, up, up, down, up, down, up. Twice, and then I hear. Then I go seven G nine D. Then I go seven and nine here. And then I'm going to go do a slide from 5 on the B all the way to like 22, right? <laughs> Just like that. And then I'm going to slide back up and finish with this little 20 second fret on the high E string to 19. I'm going to pull off. And then 22 B up on the 19th fret of the high E. So we have four times. Then 22, bend. All right, so from the top, nice and slow. Last like I did wrong, it's actually... But we're not perfect here, right? So one more time, I'm gonna go even slower. Thank you. 
Cool, that's it. That is the Air Shredder emote from Fortnite. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please make sure you subscribe, like, comment, and share. And also let us know if there's something you want to hear. Check out our other videos on Fortnite and other fun nerdy things we're going to be doing here at Nerdy Music. My name's Don. See you next time.